Hey y'all, thank you so much for joining us again this week on the Fisherman's Guide. Got Wade Wilson here with me. What have you got there, Wade? Uh, black sea bass. Black sea bass. Tampa Bay, tons of variety where we're fishing here, but today we're gonna be specifically looking for these guys. They make great table fare and they're a lot of fun to catch on the jig. Y'all stick around and see what we got in store. The Fisherman's Guide presented by the Hollywood Casino. Today's episode brought to you by Ocean Marine, Sportsman's Boats, Sport Trail Trailers, Soundwaves Marine Outfitters, Past Purchasing, Crystal Seas, The Spine Institute, Hook Gulf Coast Cuisine, Egret Baits, Matrix Shad, Sea to Swamp Outfitters, Pure Fishing, Counting Solutions for the Small Business, Parker Poles, Mojo, Salt Life Optics. Sea bass. Nice one. Nice sea bass. Yes. On the tips and the way they, they do the like bat wings are almost the way they got those. And then they, these these are sharp. Those on the top of them door dorsal fins are sharp. You don't want to let that get in your hand. No. Right? You gonna demonstrate what not to do? Yep, that's exactly <laughs> what I'm doing. Because he just cut my fingers with his gill plate. Because they got very, very sharp gill plates too. Sweet. Beauty. Yep. That is. I am. Sweet. Fish on. Oh, look at the sea bass. Black sea bass, Tampa Bay. Right there, same spot yours came from. They run in packs. Uh, where exactly? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's GPS coordinates. You want us to cast it for you? Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> Like sea bass, baby. Flounder. Nice. 13. There you go. Not real big, but he fed. Right by the buoy, man. What's up? Is that my... That's the flavor. Oh, I'm not long ago. Now, these black sea bass that we're catching on the Gulf side of Florida, they have to be a 13-inch minimum to keep them. Out of all the fish that we kept and cooked while we were in Tampa, the black sea bass was the tastiest to me. Really clean meat, really nice tasting fish, holds together really well. It's the one and only Players Club for the Mississippi Gulf Coast and beyond. The all new Marquee Rewards at Hollywood Casino and Boomtown Casino. Now with even more benefits that you can take with you to exciting destinations like Chicago and fabulous Las Vegas. It's the all-new Marquee Rewards, exclusively at Hollywood Casino Gulf Coast and Boomtown Casino Biloxi. Hey, I'm Captain Ronnie Daniels with Fishman's Guide. Today we're here at Sea to Swamp. This is a store that carries what catches fish. For your next outing, freshwater, saltwater, inshore or offshore, Cedar Swamp's got the gear that works. 
For over 80 years, serious anglers have depended on Penn. You can too. When you get that bite of a lifetime, be confident knowing that Penn is with you. Penn, let the battle begin. When it comes to boating, most folks want more features for less cost. And that's what Sportsman Boats is all about. With yacht caliber components, the Sportsman Boats lineup offers bay boats, center consoles, plus tournament class and open cockpit models. To find the perfect fishing machine that puts your family first, contact your nearest Sportsman Boats dealer and discover that with a Sportsman Boat, you can have it all. No, but is it, is it, is it, is it the flavor we want? It I looks, so, oh, yeah. black sea bass. Oh my oh, goodness, yeah. yes. And look, where are the buoys at? I'm coming, I'm coming. Nice. These are the kind we like right here. Well, I'm gonna tell you what, he just really nailed it too. What do you mean, what? <coughs> when? Oh, uh, it's a 2.1 at like. Oh, Man, you're skiing. Bye. Puffer. We got the PC is number six. Go on, you can't be counting the puffer fish. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Sea bass, like sea bass. Yep. Official one, doubled up. Another one, here. You ready? Ready? <laughs> well, I still got a little fight to him. Ronnie, you see how yours is a little darker and mine's a little like lighter on the sides when, uh -huh. you, when you pull them out? They, I don't know which one's which, but they say the darker ones, one's the male, one's the female. I got you. Different coloration. Yes. That's cool. Man, I tell you what, <laughs> so much fun. Fast action. I mean, doubled up. We're, we're probably 30, 40 fish already. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's just awesome. A lot of fun. Tampa Bay, and even if it is extended family, there's nothing better than fishing with family. I love the opportunity that we got to get Wade out here with us today. Wade's dad, Trent, these guys are great on Tampa Bay. Hopefully I can get Wade to teach me a few more pointers today. <laughs> Good luck with that one. <laughs> hey, we're gonna keep working this ledge. Y'all hang around, we'll be right back. Fresh seafood has been a Gulf Coast tradition for centuries. Today, Pass Purchasing is the only open-air seafood market in Mississippi, bringing a variety of locally caught and gourmet boat-fresh seafood to families and businesses of the Gulf Coast. Pass Purchasing is also a fuel dock and an ice plant, open seven days a week. Pass Purchasing in the Pass Christian Harbor, wholesale seafood to the public. From the Gulf to your table. Hey, I'm Captain Ronnie Daniels with Fisherman's Guide. Today we're here at Cedar Swamp. This is a store that carries what catches fish.
For your next outing, freshwater, saltwater, inshore or offshore, Seva Swamp's got the gear that works. For over 80 years, serious anglers have depended on Penn. You can too. When you get that bite of a lifetime, be confident knowing that Penn is with you. Penn, let the battle begin. When it comes to boating, most folks want more features for less cost. And that's what Sportsman Boats is all about. With Yacht Caliber components, the Sportsman Boats lineup offers bay boats, center consoles, plus tournament class and open cockpit models. To find the perfect fishing machine that puts your family first, contact your nearest Sportsman Boats dealer and discover that with a Sportsman Boat, you can have it all. When I was a little boy, I thought my dad could do just about anything. So it was really hard watching severe back pain take its toll. You know, he's just not the same anymore. Thanks to Vax-D, my kids think their granddad can do just about anything. Vax-D, helping people get back to life. Hey folks, welcome back to another great pro tip by the Fisherman's Guide. Today we drug Chef Corey out of the kitchen and onto the dock. He's going to tell you a little bit about taking care of your fillets while you're at the cleaning table. Corey, what you got for us today? Well, see, what I've noticed in the past is when people are at the cleaning table and they're cleaning their fish, they have five or six different fish laying around. There's blood, there's guts, there's slime. They can't grip their knife very well. So what I recommend is to have a hose or water accessible so after each time you fillet a fish, you can rinse it off. And after you do that, I prefer to put it in an ice bath with kosher salt. Once you put that kosher salt in there, it makes the ice water colder. That way you can fillet more fish, put them in the water, it'll last longer. And plus that ice with that salt will help take off the contaminants that are already on the fillet. And you know, one thing that you certainly never want to do is leave fish laying out in the sun where they can get hot exactly. and start a, a exactly. bacteria problem there. Um, you know, keeping them cold from the box to the freezer, that's the key to having good quality tasting fish. Y'all don't forget to check us out on the Facebook page. Like the page while you're there. If you want to see more tips like this or past episodes, go check us out on YouTube. We have a, page, a channel set up there. Just do a search for The Fisherman's Guide. Y'all tune in again next week because we're going to have more of these great tips for you then. Oh, man, we are on fire. <laughs> Lift that lid for me. What do you got, Wade? Be a black sea bass. Grouper? No, black sea bass. Black sea bass. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your buoy? Huh? Where's your buoy? It's back there. Grupa. Another little, no, oh. U.S. Grunt. <laughs> Big old Q.S. Grunt too. Twin tail hanging out his mouth. You gotta love a picture like that. That is just awesome. Pour your own custom worms and come out here, in Tampa Bay, and be able to catch fish. It doesn't get no better than that right there. Oh, right on. Oh, and then I got a bite. It's because he put that black out there. Right beside me. All I gotta do is get Wade to touch my line and the fish actually bite it. Go ahead and throw across me there, Wade. I'm fixing to come in.
A grouper came Ooh. to the surface. Came to the top and ate it. A good sized one too. He's decent, a little juvie. Look at the blue on him. I love that iridescent blue on the tips of their tails, the way it just glows in the water. As they get older, they lose that, unfortunately. Another juvenile grouper on the ledge. Looking like a good day. Black sea bass. Yeah. Is it? Oh, a nice one. Oh, yeah, baby. A nice one. Species number five. That's a beauty right there. That is a nice one. I love that. Boy, how pretty. That is awesome. It's like a covert fish right there. Yes. Black sea bass, Tampa Bay. Y'all stick around, we'll be right back after this. Fresh seafood has been a Gulf Coast tradition for centuries. Today, Pass Purchasing is the only open-air seafood market in Mississippi, bringing a variety of locally caught and gourmet boat-fresh seafood to families and businesses of the Gulf Coast. Pass Purchasing is also a fuel dock and an ice plant, open seven days a week. Pass Purchasing in the Pass Christiane Harbor, wholesale seafood to the public. From the Gulf to your table. Hey, I'm Captain Ronnie Dino with Fisherman's Guide. Today we're here at Cedar Swamp. This is a store that carries what catches fish. For your next outing, freshwater, saltwater, inshore or offshore, Cedar Swamp's got the gear that works. For over 80 years, serious anglers have depended on Penn. You can too. When you get that bite of a lifetime, be confident knowing that Penn is with you. Penn, let the battle begin. When it comes to boating, most folks want more features for less cost. And that's what Sportsman Boats is all about. With yacht caliber components, the Sportsman Boats lineup offers bay boats, center consoles, plus tournament class and open cockpit models. To find the perfect fishing machine that puts your family first, contact your nearest Sportsman Boats dealer and discover that with a Sportsman Boat, you can have it all. When I was a little boy, I thought my dad could do just about anything. So it was really hard watching severe back pain take its toll. You know, he's just not the same anymore. Thanks to VaxD, my kids think their granddad can do just about anything. VaxD, helping people get back to life. Hi, I'm Chef Justin Smith down at Hook Gulf Coast Cuisine. Today I will be preparing the sea bass bren. Sea bass bren is a blackened sea bass that I pecan crust and put a mango habanero chutney over the top. Captain Ronnie just got off the boat and brought me back this beautiful black sea bass from Tampa. On this day, they caught about 13 different species of fish, so they really had a good day. So this is not something that we get around here very often. Primarily, you find it around the East Coast and the West Coast of Florida. So this is a nice treat for us today here in South Mississippi. The black sea bass is in the grouper family, so we're gonna treat it pretty much like we do any kind of grouper. 
It's a nice flaky fish, white fish. First, I'm gonna take this black sea bass and I'm going to, I'm gonna dredge it in white flour and milk and egg wash. And then we're gonna drop it into our pecan crust, which is pecans and breadcrumbs. And we just grind it all up together. Pecans are gonna bring a nice nutty sweetness to the, to the uh, fish. Um, brings out a nice earthiness. The texture is going to surprise you a little bit. It's not too crispy. It's got a nice soft texture to it with a light crisp. We're going to place this fish on our flat top and we're going to, like we do with most things, we don't want to flip this thing over and over again. We want to put it down, let it sit for about two minutes on one side, finish it over on the next side for another two to three minutes, and then I'm going to place it in the oven just to make sure I get it cooked all the way through. One flip and one flip only. You're going to tear this fish apart because it is delicate. To, to figure out where you need to flip this fish over and turn it on to the next side is really just taking a look at it and seeing the crispiness from the bottom. Once you flip it over, you're going to want to let it go for two to three minutes and you're going to start touching it and just, just feel for that firmness of the fish. Um, and like I said, we're also going to place it in the oven just to make sure that we get this fish cooked all the way through because this is not a fish that you want mid well. You want this fish done through. Today I'm going to be preparing this black sea bass with a Southeast Asia chutney. So I'm going to be bringing together two flavors from different continents of the world. The pecan, which is great here in South Mississippi, and the chutney, which you can find in any Southeast Asian town. A chutney is basically a jelly with different fruits and spices to it. Today I'm going to be using a mango for my fruit and I'm going to be using a habanero for my spice. The mango is a nice, soft, sweet fruit. The habanero gives a nice spice and bite to it without taking away too much flavor. Today, this is a little bit of a complex sauce. You're gonna have to, it's gonna take you a little time to get this sauce done. All right, today with this chutney, we're gonna start with some distilled white vinegar and sugar. And we're gonna let that, put that in the pan, add about a cup of uh, vinegar to about a cup and a half of sugar. And we're gonna start letting it boil and reduce a little. Once it starts boiling, we're going to add in our mangoes. We're going to add in some red pepper, which is going to bring great color to your uh, sauce. We're also going to add in some habaneros, brings in your heat. A little ginger to add another complex flavor to everything. Now we're going to add in a little bit of paprika, which is also going to add a little bit of color. We're going to add in a little red pepper just to give it a little more flavor. We're going to let this reduce for about 20 minutes and it's going to turn a nice thick consistency. Now take this in mind, once it cools, it's going to look pretty thick. So it's, you need to put this on your fish right after you cook it. As usual, my favorite component to go with the dish is a vegetable. Asparagus, broccoli, whatever you want to do. I love my vegetables. So I'm going to take the vegetables and we'll put them on the plate here. It looks lovely down there colors are great. Now we're going to add our nice hot habanero mango chutney right on top. Not too much. If you overdo it, you will not taste your fish. Just a nice little dollar. And this is my black sea bass grin. Fresh seafood has been a Gulf Coast tradition for centuries. Today, Pass Purchasing is the only open-air seafood market in Mississippi, bringing a variety of locally caught and gourmet boat-fresh seafood to families and businesses of the Gulf Coast. Pass Purchasing is also a fuel dock and an ice plant, open seven days a week. Pass Purchasing in the Pass Christiane Harbor, wholesale seafood to the public. From the Gulf to your table. Hey, I'm Captain Ronnie Daniels with Fisherman's Guide. Today we're here at Cedar Swamp. This is a store that carries what catches fish.
For your next outing, fresh water, salt water, inshore or offshore, Cedar Swamp's got the gear that works. For over 80 years, serious anglers have depended on Penn. You can too. When you get that bite of a lifetime, be confident knowing that Penn is with you. Penn, let the battle begin. When it comes to boating, most folks want more features for less cost. And that's what Sportsman Boats is all about. With Yacht Caliber components, the Sportsman Boats lineup offers bay boats, center consoles, plus tournament class and open cockpit models. To find the perfect fishing machine that puts your family first, contact your nearest Sportsman Boats dealer and discover that with a Sportsman Boat, you can have it all. Trying to get to the ledge. Trying to get to the ledge. Come on. Trying oh to get boy. The... I think I got him. Oh. That's a snap. There's one of our snappers. There's a good snapper. There's one of our snappers. Good fish. There's one of the snappers I was telling you about. Look what he just spit up. Look at that shrimp on the deck. That's a nice little mangrove snapper. That's what he. That's what he's been down there. Okay, munching here. on. That's what he's munching on. And this is what we're catching. And that's what on. we're fishing with. Trent and Wade. Trent and Wade, custom pour all their own plastic. This is the twin tail grub. He's got tons of different colors, and they pour these right in their garage. Really cool to be able to make your own bait. And this is the result. What we got? Black sea Black bass. Black sea bass. Yeah, he is. I Look bet at the you. white tips on him. Yep. Ten inches. I bet you. One he's after two. another. I get some white and some yellow in the ends of these. Fins. Fins. Yep. That's pretty. Nice. The Fisherman's Guide presented by the Hollywood Casino. Today's episode brought to you by Ocean Marine, Sportsman's Boats, Sport Trail Trailers, Soundwaves Marine Outfitters, Past Purchasing, Crystal Seas, The Spine Institute, Hook, Gulf Coast Cuisine, Egret Baits, Matrix Shad, Sea to Swamp Outfitters, Pure Fishing, Counting Solutions for the Small Business, Parker Poles, Mojo, Salt Life Optics.